Why do black folks celebrate Easter? Well, today we're going to talk about the history of Easter as well as the black Easter traditions from the Easter ham to the Easter suit. And if you like stories like this, you can find more stories like this at onemichistory.com. Also, I have an audio-only channel named One Mike 2. But without further ado, let's get started. Easter, also known as Resurrection Sunday, is deeply rooted in the tapestry of history, culture, and tradition, intertwining elements of Christianity, paganism, superstitions, and even fashion. Easter celebrates the resurrection of Jesus Christ, which is said to have happened three days after after his crucifixion by the Romans in 30 AD. The origins of Easter intertwine a pagan religious practices with a core narrative of Christianity. Initially, Easter was linked to the worship of Oyster, a pagan goddess of fertility and spring. whose Festivals occurred around the vernal equinox, a time heralding the rebirth of nature. These celebrations emphasized the themes of renewal and resurgence and were integral to the coming spring. As Christianity spread, missionaries seek to promote the new faith among pagan communities and saw an opportunity. They began to incorporate the story of Jesus Christ's resurrection as a cornerstone of the Christian belief, symbolizing the spiritual rebirth and victory over death. With these pre-existing spring festivities, the strategic blend aimed to ease the transition of converts by overlaying Christianity's resurrection narrative over the deeply rooted pagan customs. The name Easter is not directly mentioned in the Bible, nor in any of the early scriptural celebrations of Christ's resurrection. It emerged as a part of this fusion. Over time, Easter evolved, distancing itself from its pagan origins to become a central tradition in the Christian culture. Unlike the initial connections to the pagan rituals, modern Easter combines both ancient themes of renewal and Christian's belief of resurrection. Although the exact practices and symbols like the Easter bunny and Easter egg retain echoes of their multifaceted heritage. The traditions of Easter have evolved over time, including the wearing of new clothes, which has an ancient origin that has evolved over centuries. Initially, the early Christian era, clergymen were required to don white robes after Lent as a symbol of purity, renewal, and a celebration of Jesus' resurrection. This practice set a precedent for the broader Christian community. By the third century, the significance of Easter was further emphasized by St. Victor I, a African pope who played a crucial role in unifying the celebration of Easter on Sunday for all Christians. This period marked the beginnings of Easter's association with renewal and new beginnings. The tradition of wearing new clothes on Easter was then officially endorsed in 300 AD by Roman Emperor Constantine. In a groundbreaking decree, Constantine mandated that the court must wear its finest new clothes on Easter as a way to mark the end of Lent and embrace the spiritual renewal. This royal endorsement not only highlighted the importance of the practice, but also linked its status and celebration within the higher echelons of society. As centuries passed, the tradition of wearing new clothes on Easter became deeply ingrained in the Christian culture, further fueling the popular beliefs and superstitions. By the 15th century, it's widely believed that wearing old clothes on Easter would bring bad luck. Aside from the religious observance, Easter is also peppered with numerous non-religious or originally pagan traditions enjoyed by many, including those that aren't participating in the religious aspect of the holiday. For example, Easter eggs representing fertility and a new life in pre-Christian traditions. It is a ubiquitous symbol of traditions with activities such as egg decorating, egg rolling, and hunts. Furthermore, in the early days of the holiday, Christianity's early church officials decided to embrace some pagan customs as such as the rabbit symbolizing fertility and new life, hence the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny was likely introduced to America by German immigrants in the 1700s and delivers candy and chocolates to children on Easter morning. Despite these rich traditions, there is concern among some believers that Easter's commercialization has somewhat overshadowed the meaning of the day. And this is indicated with the commercial aspect. Easter ranks as the second biggest candy eating holiday in the United States, trailing only Halloween. In 2019, Americans spent 
over $1.9 billion on Easter candy alone. The market flourishes with 90 million chocolate Easter bunnies being produced annually and over 700 million marshmallow peeps. Furthermore, Americans enjoy 16 billion jelly beans during the Easter season, enough to circle the globe three times if they were laid in the end. This blend of religious observance, cultural traditions, and commercial elements illustrates the multifaceted nature of Easter, reflecting the complex web of influences that shape the holiday that we celebrate today. But within the African-American community, Easter is a time of joy, renewal, with deep reverence and vibrant traditions of history's past. Enslaved individuals were often introduced to Christian beliefs and practices from their enslavers. However, Christianity was taught to enslave people with a heavily filtered lens that justified their enslavement. Despite this, many enslaved individuals were able to find hope within the faith, and particularly in the resurrection story with this message of hope and deliverance. The biblical narrative in Jesus' resurrection was embraced as a symbol of their eventual triumph over the bondage and suffering that they occurred during their enslavement. Easter Sunday became one of the few times where the harsh realities of enslavement were temporarily allied. Enslavers sometimes would grant enslaved workers a day off to observe the holiday, a rare vacation from their relentless toil. Enslaved individuals often spent their day worshiping in prayer, singing spirituals that intertwine the biblical Easter narrative with coded messages of freedom and escape. Songs like Swing Low, Sweet Chariot reflect the deep yearning for liberation in both the spiritual sense and the corporal sense. Moreover, Easter allowed for an expression of the African tradition that had survived the Middle Passage. Enslaved Africans brought with them to the New World customs that were adapted into Easter celebrations, blending African traditions with Christian beliefs. And this reflected a form of resistance, preserving African cultural heritage against the erasure attempted by enslavement. The attire worn on Easter also held particular significance for enslaved folks known as Easter finery. The tradition of wearing new or specifically reserved clothes for Easter services symbolized a fresh beginning and a hopeful promise for liberation. Enslaved individuals dressed well was an act of defiance against the enforced narrative of their inferiority. And this would continue into the post emancipation era. Easter in the black church was not merely a place for spiritual solace, but also a center of social, political and educational activities. Easter services were grand occasions. Congregations would come together in a new attire in a tradition known as dressing up for Easter, which symbolized the dignity and pride and progress. This practice was a defiant statement against the dehumanization suffered during slavery and during Jim Crow. Music and singing was also integral to black Easter traditions. Gospel music has its root and spirituals sung by enslaved individuals celebrates the central role in Easter services. These songs were filled with themes of hope and liberation and redemption and resonates the deeply historical experiences of African Americans. At the dawn of the 20th century, African Americans were just generations removed from enslavement and looked towards Easter as the celebration of community and spiritual renewal. During this era, black churches emerged at the heart of the black community, offering not just spiritual refuge, but a space for empowerment amidst the backdrop of segregation. Easter in these sanctuaries marked with grand services, with vibrant gospel music and stirring recitals of spirituals and Easter speeches, especially by children, making it a key educational and religious rite of passage at a time when systemic barriers to African-American education and prosperity were bleak. This period was also marked with wearing one's Easter best, the tradition deeply rooted within the black community, and it was an act transcending vanity and symbolized dignity and renewal and resistance against economic limitations. The tradition of donning new or special attire for Easter exemplified the black community during Easter. By the mid-20th century, the civil rights movement had began to 
tie Eastern traditions to the civil rights struggle. Leaders like Martin Luther King drew parallels from biblical narratives of the resurrection to the contemporary struggle for racial justice. In the light of Easter sermons and the events that took on the themes of liberation, weaving the fight of civil rights into the fabric of spiritual and community life. For instance, King's poignant letter from the Birmingham jail was written during Easter season in 1963 and his last speech, I have been to the mountaintop, delivered on the eve of his assassination in 1968, highlighted the intersection between the Easter message and the moral urgency for black equality as the century progressed, especially during the later half, the black church expanded and Easter celebrations reflected the growth. Mega churches would broadcast services to larger audiences on TV, incorporating contemporary music and current issues into their Easter celebrations. Community events like Easter egg hunts and outreach programs emphasize themes of service and renewal, underlining the holiday's deeper spiritual cultural significance. Additionally, there were cultural practices such as Easter parades and Easter Monday events at urban centers, seamlessly blending African-American cultural expression with the religious observance. Following church services, families would come together and enjoy a feast that has been generations in the making, the table laden with traditional dishes that are a testament to the rich culinary history of African-American culture. The centerpiece was often a ham glazed with a blend of sweet and savory flavors, symbolizing both the season's historical practice of a springtime pig slaughtering and the convenience of serving a large group. Accompanying the ham are sides like sweet potatoes, collard greens, cornbread, and mac and cheese with desserts like sweet potato pie, pound cake, and banana pudding. As the day concludes, the celebration extends beyond the spiritual confines of church to a broader community with lively Easter parades and festivals. Once an exhibition of affluence in the 19th century by prominent white communities, these events have transformed into inclusive parades weaving throughout the fabric of all who partake and they come alive with music, dance, costumes that bursting in color, showcasing the tapestry of African-American culture. These festival atmosphere is further animated by activities beloved by children and families alike, such as Easter egg hunts and games like egg rolling and egg decorating, which not only provide entertainment, but also foster creativity and family bonding. These activities set against the backdrop of the black community coming together in both spiritual gatherings and public celebrations and encapsulates the blending of African-American culture with general Easter traditions. These traditions are more than about fun. They are a crucial piece of the African-American Easter experience, blending both spiritual significance with the community and family ties. It's a time where people reflect their faith and the powerful story of hope, liberation, and history that Easter tells. In many ways, Easter for African-Americans is a reflection of their journey, symbolizing not only the resurrection, which is central to Christian beliefs, but also the broader message of overcoming challenges and the renewal for the upcoming year. This celebration serves as a reminder of the rich cultural history and the unbreakable spirit that black folks carry with them all the time. Thus, Easter is a time to honor a religious moment and a profound cultural heritage and the embodiment of spirit, rebirth, and unity that African-Americans experience. Thank you. This has been One Mike, and this has been the history of Black Easter. If you like stories like this, you can find more stories like this at onemikehistory.com. Also, if you like audio only, you can find that at One Mike 2. Also, I'd like to thank all my Patreon subscribers and my members. Without you, none of this could be possible. Peace.